welcome everyone to another episode of Until I Die. What game are we playing today? Let's jump through all these opening titles and see for ourselves. It is Haunting Ground. It's a Capcom game produced for the PlayStation 2 in 2005. Of course, I'm starting a new game. Wouldn't have it any other way. Ooh, an opening cinematic. Oh, we're off to a great start with this one, aren't we? the health inspector been around at this place? Because it doesn't look like this is going to pass. Is that tomorrow's lunch? I kind of prefer free range myself. Yeah, there's no lightning in the next room. You'll be fine there. Yeah, this is a good sign. Of all the times... Probably thinking, not again. Every time she wakes up, she's in some cage in a lunatic's basement. Jeez, what the hell is that sheet made out of? Stripped her naked, but left her a scrunchie. Ooh, blood. That's a high jump. Whoa, careful! This is very close to being unsuitable for you two. Okay, we're about to start playing the game for real, and this is going to be probably the only loading screen you will see. Why is that? Because the game doesn't load. It streams the game off the disc as you run along. Now, I'm playing this on an emulator, not a... Oh, yeah. That's... Go... Yeah, don't go back. Now, this is playing on an emulator, not an actual PlayStation 2, so you may see some unusual slowdowns or some odd sound effects. In fact, we already have. But, uh... The game streams the, every, all the content off the disc as we move along, and I'll demonstrate that. We're in this courtyard kind of area. We go up some stairs, same environment. Go up another flight of stairs, we're in the same environment. And now for the ultimate test, a door. Door opens, run into the next room, and boom, we're right there. Doesn't have to load. It's all the same environment. This was a pretty good technical feat for the PlayStation 2. You didn't see too many games doing that kind of thing. 
Also, I'd say the graphics are pretty damn good in this game. I mean, there's some weird blurriness, I guess, the emulator's putting on there. But the character models especially are very well done. And most of the cutscenes are done in real time, as you'll see some slowdown during those. Is that James Buchanan? There is some slowdown. Yeah, don't worry, nothing creepy happening here. Move along. Whoa, lady. Calm down. Was she hiding under the bed or something? Oh, yeah, nice smile. Got the Jeff Goldblum smile there. I've gathered some clothes for you. I'm talking very slowly. The game actually dropped by about 20 frames per second there, so it was just playing that in slow motion. She doesn't actually speak like that. Uh, Is that a scar or a birthmark? Wait, or what was that? Don't go. Yeah, I'd want her to go. This is weird. Um, excuse me, but where are we? Where are we? And how did I get here? Buchanan sits in silence. Yes, Master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. Okay. Did that answer your question? She was overwhelmed by his mutton chops. She disappeared. Thank God, that bitch was creeping me out. Okay, we're gonna go over to the bed and she was gonna change her clothes. Can't be running around a sheet all day, can ya? Oh, come on, mutton chops. It's a lot less creepy if you don't make any noise. I'll just stare at the wall for a while. Wait a minute. My eyes are up here. With who? Hello? Okay, now that she's wearing clothes, if that's what you're gonna call this crap she's wearing, 
we get a chance to run around and use some more of the actions, like shove, and kick, and jump backwards quickly, and get tired while running, which she hasn't done yet. And there's a TV. Hope this TV works. I'm missing my reruns of MacGyver. Okay, the TV does not work. Probably should have suspected. Maybe plugged in, but I don't see any cable. Well, let's move on. You'd use the clock to save if I were going to do any of that. Wow, that lighting... That shadow effect there is very wrong. I guess it's an emulation problem. I mean, it looks like it's working fine in this room, but... I can see the shadow through the wall for some reason. Here we go. It's a good thing they did load this entire game up in one, uh, at one time, because moving through door through door like that would be a terrible thing if I had to do a Resident Evil style loading screen. <gasps> it's either blood or someone went crazy with the smuckers. Okay, what you're seeing right now is her heart beating and the, the screen freezing for a second. That is sort of like Fiona's panic meter. It she starts to panic when scary stuff happens, and if she goes out into a full outright panic, she'll start running and freaking out and all that kind of crap. And it's difficult to control her. Dusk is locked. Pick up whatever is on the table, damn it. Oh, lavender, great. There's a flower on the table. Let's take it with us. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Excellent. A shadow we can stand in. That's a good sign. Sound effects seem kind of wrong. Oh my god, that's an ugly doll. Hey, you got- no, no, that was Goonies. I- what? What was this guy's name? Ah, whatever, he's got a mohawk, so it doesn't matter. If ever he's balding along the sides of his head. Okay, it is our first enemy! Let's take this son of a bitch out! Kick! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez, he kicks a lot harder than she does. Oh, that was hilarious, was it? Well, perhaps you like that. And oh, wet. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, haha! -ha. Let's kick again. Haha! -ha. Okay, this isn't working. Let's get out of here. Haha! -ha. Okay, we're gonna run. And the reason why we're going to run is because Fiona is no fighter. You can fight back against these people, but it's not really going to do you a lot of good. And while it is generally possible to take them down and knock them unconscious, it's never really that great of an idea. It requires a lot of effort and resources. What you're really going to do is do what we're doing right now. Run into another room and hide! He's gonna run and hide underneath of this bed. Now this is the one time in the game where hiding is you have to hide, you can't do anything else. So this is going to work. He's going to run around in this room, not find her, and then leave. That being said, this is not always how it's going to work out for the rest of the game. 
you can run into a room, hide, and this dude or one of the other enemies in the game, which you may see later if I survive that long, will go and like either figure out what you were doing or just hang around in the room long enough that you have to leave because you can't stay in there forever. Yeah, she's not in here. If you're not smart enough to look under the bed, just move on and assume she went out the door on the other side of the room. For some reason, you haven't figured that one out yet. Where is you? Man, he's got some terrible skin. And he's gone. Coast is clear, I would not have assumed that so quickly. But, he's gone. I'm pretty sure if I ran out that door he went through, I would probably uh, run into him again. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go the way that we had come from, because some stuff over there we can go and do. Now I'm going to warn you, even though it's probably not necessary, because you can see the progress bar on the web page. But this is probably going to be a rather long episode. What are you doing? Okay, it's probably going to be a really long episode because it's not going to it's not terribly uh, difficult, I'd have to say. Although I will eventually die, I'm willing to bet. The and I'm damn sure not going to turn this to kind of like what I did with Legend of Zelda. Computer, that's for sure. It has alphabetic keys though. Could it maybe be a typewriter? Okay, uh, you, what you're supposed to do is go around and find clues and figure out what you're supposed to type in here. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to type in meth, kind of like the drug. That shocked you? Weren't you the one to push the button? Great, we got a meth plate. Well, like I was saying, I'm probably uh, zero chance, I think, of me going and doing what I did with Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, which was originally intended to be a entry to this series and ended up being turned into a series of its own, because I'd managed to play several hours without dying. Even in the event that that happens in this show, in this series, I'm not going to turn into a series because I do not want this to happen. Great, there's blood down there. That's that's just great. It looks like there's some on the table, too. Isn't that just brilliant? Nothing unusual. There's blood on the table. And there's blood under that crate. Nothing unusual. Let's take that creepy-ass doll. You, wait, the, the door opened that direction with something sitting in front of it? Never mind. Anyway... What you do with that plate key is go over to this gigantic son of a bitch and stick meth into it. You give it its fix and it falls apart. Boom. There's something on the floor. Well, wait, what was that? Obsidian Choker! What does that do? Long slice of adorable obsidian. Obsidian, isn't that... like volcanic glass? Oh, it reduces her odor! She stinks, and somehow obsidian is supposed to... It's like, uh... Sort of like, you know... Aftershave or something, I don't know. <laughs> Deodorant. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I have to say, uh, something that I noticed after playing this game. Because I played this game, I didn't get it in 2005. I got it at a GameStop in maybe 2008 or 9 or something like that. And after playing this, I went and then also later on, maybe a, a month or two later, I got the game... Uh, Resident Evil 5. I know something rather unusual. This character, Fiona here, has a rather startling resemblance to 
one Jill Valentine in the Resident Evil series. Now, I'm not talking about Jill from the... Hey, there's a door over here. I'm not talking about Jill from the, like, Resident Evil 1 or 3, which I'm currently doing an LP for, but... Or, I mean, not even the GameCube remakes, which would have good enough graphics to make it obvious. I'm talking about Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 5. She looked very much like this. Her face, her hair, her, uh... Other features looked very similar, and I say it's probably not a coincidence considering they're both from Capcom, they're both survival horror games. And look at that picture right there that's, that's pretty big in the screen right there. You tell me you don't see Jill there, you're out of your mind. Where's that piano? Ah, Fiona. I see you finally awaken. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Pull away that sheet behind you. Um, no. Don't just do it. Come on. My God, where'd the sheet go? Beautiful, isn't it? That, my dear, is what you will become in the future. Pregnant? Go ahead. You may touch it. I don't think so. Will be mine, Fiona. This guy knows all the lines, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. And the sheet is gone on the line. We got the garden key. Sweet. And uh, and do over here. And as long as we don't run into that gigantic guy again, we'll be okay. We have a new key we can use to get through this door. Damn, Tinkerbell looks pissed. Okay, what these things will do is they'll plow in the Fiona and cause her to go panicky. And also, they might attract the attention of the big dude. So it's best not to just run into them. Hey, that seems like an awesome thing. And let's move on. Ooh, 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 awesome. Over here, over here. Kick! 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 Ah! Bugs! But there's some stuff down there. Oh, alright. What is that? Oh, it's a... It's a, uh... It's a weapon you throw at one of your enemies and it hurts them. Another thing that... Alright. Some stuff that hurts bad people. Weapons. You don't get too many weapons in this game. And the ones that you do find are pretty much like one-time use things. You have to use them wisely. It's not like we're going to run around and shoot things. Even in Resident Evil they had like limited ammunition and stuff. So you had to be careful about what enemies you downed. But in this game, it's much, much more restrictive. And even if you do manage to take out an enemy, there's only so long before he will wake up and then come back after you again. Oh, the kitchen. This looks disgusting. There's something there. Pick it up. Chicken jerky. No, 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 no. Looks like they were eating people here. I don't know if I'd be trusting that jerky. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. The wall's caved in. Why don't you try opening it? Oh, whatever. Do this the destructive way. Yo, it's net. What was that? Did you hear that? Anyway, we have a map! Castle sketch, how convenient. And who lit this... Who lit this candle? A wine connoisseur! More chicken jerky. You really have to smash this crap to get at it. Yes, let's approach the strange noise in the kitchen full of decomposing meat and sharp objects. And turn our back to everything. You deserved that one, let's be honest. Well, that went well. Well, don't worry, take your time. I'm sure he's not pursuing you or anything like that. You think those boots would have protected your shins when you collapsed on, collapsed on the stairs? You'd think. Oh, don't worry, he didn't see you. Oh, gasp! He did see you! What? An empty hallway? How could this be? She could run away. Or she could stand there and look frightened. She's choosing the latter option. Oh yeah, that's his name. Who said that? The chair or the potted trees? So he's gonna get a handful of her face. Oh, he's disappointed. Keeper of the castle. So sorry to hear about your accident. Your parents. As Master Ugo and Mistress Ayla are both deceased, you, Miss Fiona, are the sole surviving heir of Belly Castle.
Uh, Are you in pain, miss? Uh, Will you be all right? You've had a long day. Please, rest upstairs. Your bed has been prepared. Is he wearing sandals? Oh my god. So that's what happened. Your parents are dead. This isn't real. It's just a dream. This can't be happening to me. It can't be. Oh. Okay, weird graphical glitch in the background. Do not know what that is about. There's something behind your... Oh, it's a ceiling fan. Okay, let's go out there and rescue that pooch. After all, the dog does sound like it's having a great time out there. We did our good deed for the day. Go. Wait a minute, it's dark out here. Okay, moving on. Now, I'm pretty sure some of the uh, rooms that we were not able to get through before because of the locked doors will not be open. Giving us a little bit more access to the... Oh, there we go. See, perfect example. We can go places that we were not able to go to before. That door was locked. Let's get over there and take a look at what we just gained access to. Ooh, the stuff up there. Get it!
Well, you know what they say. If you, first you don't succeed, give up and never try again. Here's the front door of the castle. Uh, can we get in there? That's a no. Shiny! Pick up the shiny! Ooh, a medallion! I love me some medallions. I don't know what they're for, but I love me some medallions. Have you tried opening the door? You might want to try opening the door. Eh, okay. If you're not going to try hard enough, then the hell with you. Uh, I don't know if we can go this way. No, you can't go this way. Got to go back the way we came. Can't get that thingy at the top of the pile of rubbish. Oh, great. She's getting tired. Uh, I don't know if I explained this earlier. I kind of forgot. But Fiona is not the most athletic of individuals. One of the reasons why she's not particularly good in a fight. We've been running for a little while, so you notice she is slowing down. Hands that are... She, her hand eventually gets raised up to her chest, and which point she is tired. And while she's tired, ah, oh, damn it, we're not going to be able to show you right now. Cutscene. Hi. I made your bed. I'm angry now! Don't worry. Slowly inching your way backwards against the wall is an excellent way to get away. Um, what is he planning on doing here? What is this? A dog? Yes, it is some kind of dog. Okay, what's gonna happen right now is we are picking another fight with this gigantic dude, and this is how the fights in the rest of the game are pretty much gonna play out. We do not always have to run away, although it's probably the best option at all times, but Running away like that is going to be kind of difficult because they're going to pursue you pretty much and Fiona's going to get tired real quick. So we have the dog Huey to help us out. The dog understands your gratitude. Come here. Come on, boy. You've got blood on your tongue. Ew. with some other dog. Well, hi, Huey.
Okay, we have additional dog commands. Search it around down. No, blah, 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 blah. Nobody really cares. Let's move on. Go here. Huey's gonna search around if there's stuff to, to find, Huey will find it. But having this dog following us around is pretty much how the rest of the game is going to play out. And, oh, he did find something. Sweet. I didn't think there was anything here. Ooh, another medallion. Now, if you could find me, like, a sigil or some shit like that, it'd be great. What Huey is mostly good for, though, is solving some simple puzzles. Like, you know that one up there? Come on. The one that we had fall seen, like, a few minutes ago where... Where, uh... Jeez, I was about to call her by some other name. Fiona goes and tries to climb up that thing. And fell down. Well, Huey could do it. He was smaller than she is, and I guess he doesn't get weighed down, or maybe Huey's just not a dumbass. If we run over here and do this, Huey can go and get us that thing. Come on. Get your ass over here. Come on. Good boy. Whoops. Should not have praised him for not doing what I told him to do. Well, anyway, get up there. Oh, jeez, it's a marionette. Why the hell would I want that? It's a broken one, nonetheless. I can't even play with it. Good boy. There we go, I praise him again for running off. Well, anyway, if I leave him behind, he will uh, follow us. Now, there is sort of a dog training mechanic in this game, which I was never a terribly big fan of. But it involves... Come on. It involves you either scolding the dog or telling him good boy like that when he does something right or wrong or giving treats or some crap like that. Come on. And he will, uh... And the better you train him, the more responsive he will be to your commands. Like, right now, where is he? He's not here. He didn't follow us. Come on. And if in the event that we ran into an enemy right now... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. That dog just surprised me. If you, uh... <laughs> okay, if you train him better, he better obeys your commands. Get your ass over here. Scold him! Sit. Good boy. Ah, damn it. But anyway, this interactions between Fiona and and Huey, and the way that the battles go go about is probably the most interesting thing about this game, because it's not just, uh, not like your typical survival horror like a Resident Evil or even a Silent Hill, where you see an enemy and you either defeat it or you run away from it. You pretty much always have to run away from your enemies. But the added dynamic of Huey makes things actually a bit interesting, because Huey will actually be the one fighting most of your battles, because Fiona is, well, I mean, defenseless, for the most part. So, it's sort of like, I mean, if I had to pitch the idea, I'd do it terribly wrong. I'd say something along the lines of, it is Resident Evil 4 played from the perspective of Ashley, the defenseless character that basically just sort of runs and hides, rather than, rather than, uh, running forward and kicking ass, or even somebody like, um, in, I don't know, I'm not gonna follow this line of thought any further. But on the other hand, it does take some rather irritating, uh, and despite the fact that it had made a lot of significant changes in what I consider to be a normal survival horror game, like the, uh, playing as a defenseless character rather than the one that can actually fight, it does make some rather irritating, sort of, common moves that really, really aren't that, really aren't that good, in my opinion. For example, the character of Fiona here, the large-breasted teenage girl running around in an extremely short skirt and breathing heavy and all that kind of crap, is kind of a tired, uh, tired trope that we've seen like a million friggin' times. And it actually is really over the top. Now, I'm not one of them, like, people that 
freaks out at like feminist causes and points to problems that don't really exist and say, hey, that's hey, hey, you there. But this is little uh kind of ridiculous, this character here. Anyway, we have ourselves a we got that uh marionette. That's actually a key. We use it here. Oh, oh, actually, I need to go and get Huey from this part, because I'd forgotten about this. If I ran over here and stepped on this, I would die. And as much as I would like to end this episode right now, because it's been going on for, what is this, 45 minutes? The load of laundry I put in the dryer is not yet completed, and that was actually my benchmark for finishing this episode. I just put my crap in the laundry, and I'm waiting for it to dry so I can go to the gym. But until then, I'm going to continue playing the game. So I'm not going to die. And actually, you know what? I will die. Hold on. Since I'm playing it as an emulator, I can use save states. Stage saved. Run over here and get dead. Ha <laughs> ha! She got nailed. Pun intended, by the way. Okay, save state loaded and we continue on our merry way. Now, I cannot complete this puzzle without Huey's help. I'm not sure where to find him. Over here, perhaps. Huey couldn't follow us down the... Couldn't follow us down the ladder. So, oh my god, it's this woman again. Yo. What is she doing? Cooking? I think it's a perfect time to strike up a conversation. And, like, my first question would be, what the hell is happening here? Ooh, a dining room. Someone went through a lot of effort here. Setting up candles and whatnot. Another cracked plate key. Just what I needed. We have two cracked plate keys. And, uh, alright. Makes two halves. Oh, was that a urine stain? I like that. Unlock the door. Very nice. Now, since Huey. Ah, shit. Here he comes. Hide! Okay, we may uh, get away with this. He was about to come down there and pick a fight with us. I'm not sure where he is. Since we don't have Huey around, we can't really fight him. Ah, eh, I'm just going to assume he's gone. Ah, oh, there's Huey. Oh, since we unlocked the door, we can now go and find Huey. Huey. And he should be... No, that's the wrong way. He should be over... In this... Oh, here he is. Come on. Let's go do this puzzle. And Huey is required for some other puzzles, not just going and picking stuff up for you. We can go and... I'll show you when we get there. Get your ass in here, mutt. Come on. Get your get in here. Oh, now you do it. Okay, follow me. Hurry. Huey. 
Now, if you train your dog better, he will actually go and um, be more responsive, and it contributes to your okay. ending with the game, I think. But, you know, we're not gonna play the game that long, I hope. Get over here! Come on! Come on! Stay! Stop! Get over here! You... Go here! Sit! Okay, the dog will stay there, and as long as the dog's standing there, we can go and walk across this platform. Now, I know I broke the rules when I did this, because the, uh... The dog wasn't supposed to... What the frickin' hell? It happened anyway. The dog... The damn dog didn't frickin' stay. Had the dog, damn dog stayed, we would've survived that. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm gonna consider that to be a more legitimate death. I was gonna say... The death I had before was technically breaking the rules, but I make the rules so I can break them if I want, but I'm not gonna break them a second time. That was legitimate death, and that's the end of the episode. So thank you for watching, and this was Haunting Ground.